but the car is biting. It bites in the corners. I have grip. Oh, oh, easy, okay. Oh man, Automobilista 2. Here we go again. So after two years of where I've only produced two videos for this particular sim game, whatever you want to call it, I thought I would give AMS2 another try. There's been a substantial update recently, which I'm going to get into and talk about in a second, that I think maybe makes this sim worth another shot. Now, don't get me wrong, AMS2 is one of those games that says that it's very much a long-term project, a work in progress. And I think we've seen that over the last couple of years. There's been a ton of updates added since the game was released. And a lot of cool stuff announced too, including actually a, a version of Le Mans, I think, that is coming to AMS2. Nine that sounds awesome. I'm super interested in that, especially given the wider range of historic cars that are present in the game. But the reason why I don't play this very much, despite all that cool news and cool content, is because I've never really got on with how this game drives. To me, it's always felt really weird. Like the tires aren't quite connected to the tarmac recently. The car would seemingly oversteer and understeer at the same time. And it's just not something that I've ever got my head around. And for me, I've always recorded videos and stuff that I find entertaining or interesting. And I just wasn't captivated by AMS2. The situation definitely wasn't helped by the fact that when I made that video back in 2021 of the, in the Cadillacs at Daytona, not only was I dragged by the AMS2 fanboy community, which to be honest I'm used to by now, it comes with a territory when dealing with AMS2 and that sort of game, but also people involved in the game who should know a lot better. And given the nature of the messages that I received, I just decided that, well, I won't play the game then. I don't want to give any screen time to an organization that thinks it's okay to act that way. So despite all that, why am I now back in AMS2? Well, that's because there's been a decent update to the tire model, the thing that I think I had the biggest issue with when playing the game previously. So I'm going to read what I think is the standout for this update here. I'll also link this down below in the description so you can read it at your own leisure and again, come to your own conclusions about where the game currently sits. So the V1.5 physics overhaul is once again focused on tires with aero and suspension also receiving substantial developments. It was triggered by the discovery of an issue with how the SATA tire model was interacting with the old ISI P motor from which it was still getting fed some tire related values. Basically, this was resulting in a confused tire carcass with oscillating spring rates, which are different from what we were actually inputting into STM. Now, now I'm just a sensationalist YouTuber, but the way I read that and the way I understand it is that there were basically two different tire models putting in different data and just confusing the fuck out of the physics engine, which is probably why the car felt like it was oversteery and understeery and floating all at the same time. Something that I was actually criticized for saying. Uh, just putting it out there. That's my one petty thing, it's gone now. So right now the update is only applied to a couple of cars and we're gonna drive one of them to get a feel for this new update for myself and give you guys my opinion on how I feel AMS2 is coming along here in 2023. But this right here is one of the cars that has been updated. The Formula USA, um, like Gen 1, Gen 2. I'm in the Gen 2 right now, basically an old cart. Uh, one of the awesome 800 horsepower beast from back in the day. A big turbo lag, lots of wheel spin, sequential gearbox, so I haven't got one of those right now, so it's got the uh, clunkers. I'm going to do a little race around Long Beach, an awesome circuit for these cars, and a, and a circuit that I feel really actually shows off the difference in the tyre model um, in this kind of car. Now, on screen right now is a list of the cars that, to my knowledge, have also been updated to this current tyre model. Uh, not all cars have it at the moment. So some cars still feel like they used to and some cars feel like this. Anyway, drive time. Right, here we are, back in AMS2. It's been a little while. Feels weird to be back here, but happy to be giving me another go. Green flag, and away we go. We're starting from the back of the grid for content. We're gonna see how many places we can make up in these next few laps, whilst getting a nice feel for what this new tire model well, this updated tyre physics set has to offer us. We're literally 45 wide going down towards T1. Where am I going to go? A little hole there. I'm going to try and sneak in on the inside here. I feel like this is a place to be on, on that one. Very, very tight through there, which is exactly what she said. Easy. Up on the kerb. A bit messy. I want to try and get on the outside here. I'm not being on the inside for this next corner because the kerb is vicious. Managing that fat old turbo and getting through in one piece. Now Long Beach is one of those circuits where it's very bumpy and the walls are waiting for any excuse to meet you. To gear there somewhere, Jimmy. We've got to try and do our best to 
keep the car in one piece before we start pushing forward. Make sure I get off the throttle pers uh, properly before shifting up through gears. Oh, car in front hits the wall. Easy, guys, come on. Already, you're seeing, probably, I don't know if you can make out from the, my driving, but the car is biting. It bites in the corners. I have grip when I turn in. I can feel the front tyre bite into the tarmac as I try and introduce it to some sort of cornering load. The rear of the car, it feels like I can actually get on the throttle and control any sort of wheel spin I have. It feels like a car and not like something that is kind of vaguely on rails, but not really. It's a massive step forward. You can really tell that whatever conflict they had going on was really affecting things. I remember driving not this exact car before, so I don't have a back-to-back -back comparison to, uh, for you, but some of the cars in the past, and it just felt like the way you drove them fast was by forcing understeer and forcing the car through the corner in a horrible way. Now, if you try and do that, you're met with what you would get in real life, which is oversteer from you planting the throttle and trying to push the car through the corner. It's transformed the game into something that I wouldn't touch, something that I'm actually sitting in now and thinking, you know what, yeah, I could do a few laps of this. Especially in this car around here, I find the biggest improvement for me is in low-speed corners. Anything low-speed, because the car, it settles in a different way. In high-speed, the car compresses a lot because of the aero, because of the tyre load, and I, I still think in some situations, that's not quite 100% where it should be. But um, in, for a circuit like Long Beach, it feels properly good. See that? I'm just like squirming on the power. This car has, you know, 800 horsepower or so for going through those rear wheels. Big turbo as well. It's 2.6 litre engine, I think it is, or 2.4. I forget which one it is. But it's a, a fairly decent engine. But the, uh, when the turbo comes on, it comes on strong. It feels like a proper open wheel experience. This. And it's odd to be saying that about a car in AMS2. Now, please don't get me wrong. I've always said that if you enjoy this sim, you don't need to have a go on the internet tell you that it's not his cup of tea. You can just go and enjoy it. My opinion is nothing. It's worth nothing. Oh, easy. But it should be anyway. This is just, you know, I, I, I make videos on YouTube. It's kind of my job. And people always ask me about this game. I never really have a good answer for them. And look, right now I'm having a great race of this car side by side. Just about finally getting by. Now, right, let's try and get this gear in. Yes, okay, nice. Car in the background, it's got the tow. Be careful on that curb on the inside, there is a track limit there, we've found that out already. Very nice. And the tyre's now also definitely coming up at temperature. It feels a little bit less like it wants to kill me on every corner exit. Except to my, if I'm in first gear, which to be fair, I think is reasonable. Easy through there, nice. It feels like the car is really reacting to the bumps of the circuit now. It's not just gliding over them. Whoa, easy, okay. Big, big move. Oh, oh I, I, just, I just drove the guy into the wall. Sorry, bro. This is where the AI is weakest through here, so we get a little bit of a chance to have a go. There you go. Thank you very much. Dude, this, this feels like I would imagine one of these cars to drive. It feels like a little bit of a just hang on experience. Racing's awesome so far. Oh, no! The guy came over to take the line. I was already there. This is where having a single monitor is not the one. But let's just pretend that didn't happen. So we've got a little bit of time on our, on our own. Let's see if we can actually stretch our legs a bit. Now, I don't confess to be the best uh, AMS driver in the world. I've not been in it for a while, so I'm probably quite scrappy right now. And I'm sure those of you who are veterans in this game are thinking, who the hell's this guy? But I feel like I can actually start to push the limit a bit, you know? I can, I can have these slides, and I can gather them up. And it feels easy. And the car, I, I'm getting intuitive feedback, which is telling me how fast and how slow I have to go into these corners. You know, obviously you have to build up to it. You can't just dive into the corners and hope for the best. Oops, don't worry about that. Leaving a little bit of rubber there on the uh, side of the walls for the good people of Long Beach. But I feel like I actually have control of the car rather than trying to understand the weird arbitrary thing the car needs to go fast, the car is just telling me what it needs to go fast. Hopefully that makes sense. Right, I've got the toe of the car in front. Ah, massive bump there, you get a big jolt on the force back and then just dive out. Hit the anchors! Oh, no, 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 a bit, a bit too over-enthusiastic there. The AI luckily saw it coming. AI have actually done pretty well here, I've got to say. AI and AMS 2 for me, has never been something to write home about, but here I'm having, I'm having a, a genuinely a good race here. 
Oh, I thought about just lunging out the inside there, but AI has got a bit further up the field. It's a bit later in the break. I love getting it sideways. It's not good for the rear tyres here, and the way I'm driving the car isn't necessarily the fastest, but it's definitely the most fun. I just wish they were a bit better out of there. Using the clutch now just to try and make sure I don't miss these upshifts. Ooh! Oh, oh my god! This is good racing! No, credit where credit is due. I've always thought people... Well, I have always thought this. I think that maybe some people think that I set out to play these games and give them a bad rep for no reason. What do I have to... I mean, what do I have to gain from it apart from maybe learning how to use stiff gear properly? That couldn't be further from the truth. I want every sim to succeed in the best state possible. A little bit of a stutter there. I think that's just because of the, um, the cars coming the other way. I've got, you know, some... Pretty much max graphics here with 20, I think, five cars in the field here, which is the max amount of liveries. Oh, nice out there. Just, just sitting on the rear tyres up the corner, waiting for the car to grip up. That's awesome, an awesome feeling. And it feels great on this as well. I'm using the R21 from Moza. And honestly, all I've done is turn the wheel on. I've not, I've not really made any adjustments, and it feels great. I need to get by these guys. I'm, Oh my god, it's so hard to pass though. We're on our own a little bit in the front. I think there's some cars in front of us. I have no idea what place I'm in, but that's sort of part of the fun for me in these uh, little videos. Right, can I get out of here, get a good run? Right, I need to hit the I need to hit the gear, come on. Damn, every time fifth gear doesn't go in! Why doesn't it go in? Maybe I've got to just clutch in and, and flat shift instead. I'm trying to replicate what it would be to. Oh okay. That's apparently a track limit. All right, well, good to know. Welcome to uh, Austria F1 Simulator. 1,200 track limits, violations, or we riot. Oh. What a cool battle to be caught up in, though. The only thing that stopped me, really, is my inability to get into gear on the straights, because the, the guys just drive right by me again. <laughs> oh, that sideways action there, man. Right, OK, here's the one. Here we go. the toe. And is he still there? Nice! Move made. All it took was just trying to get rid of that skill issue that I had there. So oh, track limits again to me. Be careful, man. It's, I think there's some running into the pit lane exit and it's very, very strict there, as it should be. Um, I need to make sure I'm stopping doing that. And now I'm free, I can sort of try and stretch the legs a little bit here, try and catch the cars in front. Look at this! I mean, apart from me missing a shift every 10 seconds, it's just so much fun to try and just navigate these streets around here in a car with all this power, a little bit of aero as well. Ah, oh, every time. Oh, there must be a reason for that somewhere. Oh, God! Probably didn't delete my documents folder or something. Easy, easy, easy. So we are catching the cars in front. I'm not sure how many laps we have left. I think this is coming onto the last lap now. All right, here we go. Come on. We actually got into fifth gear. Can we chase them down? One more lap. Come on. Can we do a good lap? I love the balance of just sitting on the rear tyres and the things on the knife edge on the throttle. It's very, very satisfying on the drive. Out there as well, just every little moment is just controlled by the throttle. It's almost like driving that, uh, that Mustang I drove with Alex Brundle. It feels like you just steer it on the throttle. Of course, it's an aero car and it's, you know, it's got a lot of mechanical grip, but I just love that you just sit there right on the edge of grip. Very, very satisfying to get right. I'm not going to catch the cars in front, but we're still going to give it a go. Third, fourth, fifth, no, fifth is forbidden in this car. The forbidden fifth gear, not allowed. <laughs> no, no, okay. I got a little bit too enthusiastic on the rear tyres there. Didn't really get away with it, but I think that's our last lap. There it is, yeah, race over. A vastly improved Automobilista 2 experience. Vastly improved. That's the first time I've made one of these videos and come away thinking, yeah, that's better now. And I'm glad. I'm glad for the guys at Racer. And I'm glad for the uh, guys who like this game that finally some progress has been made. That they found the issue that's been 
supporting them since I don't know how long it's been, years. And maybe now, you know, things will start to get a bit better and uh, people can be kinder to each other in the community. Now that the frustration of the uh, sim not being maybe what people expected is now starting to get rectified somewhat. But I would love to hear what you guys think of AMS2 in its current state, you know? Bear in mind, I approach these things as a guy that likes a healthy mix of realism with a healthy mix of immersion. For me, AMS2 before did the latter really well, but the former not so well. Now, round here in this circuit, that was great. I'm gonna drive some more of that off camera. I really thoroughly enjoyed that. That's the first time I've had that experience in AMS2 where I've come away and thought, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do some more laps. Good sh so yeah, I'm genuinely glad that AMS2 is moving in a better direction. And um, hopefully now we can see a better relationship between the developers and you know people who are making content with this game. I think I can speak for everyone in the sim community and say that we want as many good sims as possible. AMS2, with this update, is making a good step to being one of those good sims, in my eyes. I know you guys have different opinions, but that's the amazing thing about uh, discussion and about opinion. We can have those differing opinions and still get on, hopefully. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. A massive thank you, as always, to my channel members and my Patreons as well. Here they are, the beautiful people for supporting this content and let me go out there in the real world and do the thing I love most, which is get behind a wheel of a race car. You guys are amazing and I couldn't, I couldn't be here without you. Take care, have an awesome day. See you all next time.